How's it going? Today we are at Oxford Island, just on the shores of Loch Ness, here in Craigavon. Um, it's a November day, uh, the rain's just starting. And today we're just experimenting with some long exposure shots. It is very overcast. Um, I do have um, one of my uh, ND filters on the camera. So it is quite overcast. I'm exposing for about six seconds or so. And there's an old pier here, which I'm trying to get some shots of. So there's not much definition in the sky. It is very overcast, very sort of, um, yeah, there's a lot of haze coming through. So we're just playing around, getting some shots. There was a cool little robin bird, which is just hanging around here. I don't know if you can see him or not. I think I've met a new friend. So we'll take some shots here, and then if the rain stays off, then we'll move around the corner a bit and take some more shots. Catch you then. Looks pretty good in the camera, um, but not very colourful due to the weather more than anything else. But it's got potential. Could work really well as a nice black and white. I like it. Yeah, that will work really nice as a black and white. This is a lovely spot, by the way, if you're ever around this part of Ireland. Definitely well worth a visit. Now, this is November, although it is very mild. Um, as long as that rain holds off, I'll be happy. And we'll get some more shots around the corner. Yeah, I think we're good here. I'm happy with this. So to avoid the rain, it was just starting there. I've just wandered over here and a more secluded shelter place in the woods. And it's, it's kind of nice here. We are in November, so there is a lot of leaves on the ground. Um, it is. It's kind of nice, colourful. So I've also brought out my new little prop as well, which is my new crystal ball, just to experiment with. It's quite nice. I've yet to be able to forecast the future, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to experiment with it and try and get some nice shots. Try and compass the woods and the leaves through the crystal ball. So it's more of an experiment more than anything else, but we'll see what we can do. The camera's here and I'm going to be shooting probably F4. Want to blur out the background. Want to keep the image within the crystal ball pin sharp and we'll see what we can do with it. It could be good. There's a lot of ditches here which I'm trying to avoid. I don't know if they're rabbit holes or what. So it is a bit treacherous. So I found a good spot for the crystal ball and hopefully it won't drop. Just a little bit. That was made for it, that looks good. So because it is a bit dark, oh, you can't see me, can you see me? Because it is a bit dark here, uh, I've bumped the ISO up to about ISO 800. Shooting at F4, 
160th of a second. So we'll just take some shots here. I'm going to stay close. I'm going to zoom in, blur out that background. Looks good. Bit closer for a couple more. That last one looked really good. It's got potential, I like that. It's always good to experiment, folks. It's a lot of fun. It's very often, it's very often hit or miss, but hey, that's all part of the fun. There's bugs and wasps still flying around here. So, I'm going to hang up out here for a while longer, see what I can do. Hopefully get some interesting shots and then take it back home, get the computer going, fire up Lightroom, and we'll see what we can do with it. Hi guys, so we had a good day at Loch Ness and we've got a good selection of shots. Now, just before I was about to wrap up, the weather did improve slightly, and I bounced back over to where the pier was, uh, the clouds were a lot more interesting, the sunlight was just coming through the clouds, and I was able to squeeze off a few uh, better shots, I think, at the end of the day, which was just before there was a big downpour, uh, just before I got in the car, so thankfully I missed the rain. So here we are, and we'll have a look at these two shots then. So the first one is from the pier. Now let's have a look at this. So this is a shot straight out of the camera. Um, I was using my grad filter or my ND filter and shot at five seconds, F18 and ISO 50, just to keep the ISO levels really down to allow for that longer exposure. So I'm reasonably happy with this. There's not too much that I want to do with this. I think ultimately we will turn it into a black and white, but we'll quickly make some adjustments in color first. And we'll have a look at that before we turn it to black and white. So I'm just going to bump up the exposure slightly. You can see the foreground is pretty much in shade as it goes out towards the center where it does brighten where the sun is just coming through. I'm not going to touch the contrast for now. Highlights, will bring the highlights down a little bit for the clouds. And shadows will pump up just to bring out some detail in the foreground for the wood of the pier. I'm just looking at the histogram here. It looks pretty well exposed. Um, you want your levels normally uh, pretty much in the center. Obviously it depends what, where and when you're shooting. But this is looking quite nice. So with the whites for the clouds, we'll pump those guys up. just to which will add more contrast to the sky. And the blacks, I'm actually going to take some of the blacks out, I think. I'll leave it about there. Clarity, I do like a lot of clarity on my landscapes. Uh, brings out all those nice, fine mid-tones. Adds a nice, crisp appearance to the image as well. And you can get away with a lot more clarity in a landscape image than in a portrait. So we'll leave it about there. I think vibrance, we can pump up the vibrance. It is a bit dull, which is why I think we will ultimately go for the black and white. Saturation, I rarely touch unless I'm actually desaturating the image. Just bear in mind there is a difference between desaturating and black and white as well. And if you do want to turn it to black and white, do select black and white at the top rather than desaturating it. Blues, we'll bring the blues down slightly just to define those clouds a bit more. And perhaps we'll bring up some of the orange and the yellow, which will work well for here at the end of the pier. Sharpening, 
Um, it's just one of my preferences. I'm usually happy with sharpening around 70 or close to it. The only exception of that would be if I'm shooting indoors, say at a, an event or a concert where the ISO is very high, there's a lot of noise in the image, in which case I wouldn't over sharpen it. So, masking, finger on the Alt key for the overlay, and we'll just bring the mask just to see where that sharpening is taking place. As you can see, there's some, there's a good few spots on that image which we can remove with the spot removal tool. I did get my sensor cleaned, but obviously it needs another good cleaning. Noise reduction, we don't need to touch, and lens vignetting through the manual tool will maybe get rid of some of that just at the bottom there, just to brighten that up slightly, just to balance that out. And that looks fine, we haven't done too much with it. We'll have a quick look at those spots. Click on visualize spots. And just get rid of a few of the more obvious ones. And there and there. Now they're not very apparent in the image, but I know that whenever I go to get this printed out, they will be very noticeable. So it's always a good idea just to double check and obviously keep your sensor clean. Okay, I think that's most of the obvious ones. A couple more at to the top, perhaps. Click done. <clears throat> and we'll move this here. And move that guy. Let's bring that down a bit just to align that coastline. And that looks, that looks okay, it looks good. I'm happy enough with that. Now what else can we do? I think we will, I do think it's gonna work a lot better in black and white, so. <coughs> Cause there's not a lot, whenever there's not a lot of sort of color range in the image, um, personally I do prefer black and white. Now because it is black and white, we can actually do a little bit more with it. In fact, I think we'll bump up that exposure slightly. And maybe even those shadows. And maybe even some clarity. Now I'm happy with that, but what I'm thinking is maybe go for a complete uh, minimalist approach with this image. And I try not to crop my images too much, but this might be an exception. Because I'm quite... Basically the background here is distracting me with these country houses. So I'm thinking of just taking all that out, including the sky. And perhaps going for something like that. Maybe speed it up slightly. Mm, is that center? Is that centered? Something like that. And I quite like that. And we'll have a look at before and after. Yeah. I do like this. It's nice and serene and really 
and that looks good. Okay, so we'll go for that and then we will go for the crystal ball shot. So here's a crystal ball shot, which looking at it on the computer, actually, could, you could actually, uh, one could actually think of that was a water drop, I think. It doesn't scream crystal ball to me, so it actually looks a little bit more interesting as well. Now, I was shooting at f4 for this, I think. Yep, f4. I also we had 100 at the time because we're in the woods, it was kind of shaded. And I was obviously focusing in the, on the center of the image of the crystal ball. And, uh, you know, I think it works pretty well. I like it. And once again, I don't think there's too much that I need to do with this. We're just going to bring up the exposure slightly. Maybe, maybe add a little bit of contrast. Highlights. Maybe bring down just a hair and shadows. I'm not even too sure if I should even touch the shadows. I'm quite happy with that. Blacks. I think it might look better if it was softer, so we'll maybe bring some of those blacks out a little bit. Clarity, just a touch. Bring up the vibrance. For those oranges and greens. Maybe we could darken some of those greens. I will leave the orange. Sharpening once again, about 70. Masking. I'm guessing around 20 or 30. Vignette, will we add a vignette? Let's see what it's like. Just a little bit. I'm quite happy with that. That's that's not bad for um, my first little experiment with my crystal ball. And I think that would make a really nice print. I'm thinking metallic paper with that would work really nicely, especially with the, the brown and orange leaves. Let me just center that a little bit. Okay, and I'm pretty happy with that. Is there anything else I can do? Would I warm it up? Should I adjust the white balance? Or not? Hmm, what works better? More coolness or more warmth? I'm not sure. Somewhere about there, maybe. Is that any different? It's very little difference. Um, I don't know. I want to bring some green into that. So maybe there. So we'll have a look at the before and after. Maybe bring some more clarity into it. Yeah, I, I quite like that. 
maybe what we could do is use the adjustment brush is just to bring out maybe some of those greens, some of the moss here. Something like that. Perhaps some more blacks. A little bit more clarity. Okay, so that's it folks, I'm happy with that. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that, hope you learned something. And feel free to subscribe with the subscribe button right here. And I will catch you next time. Thanks, bye.